So I'm here today to talk about the Super 73. But before I get into all that, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe so you can get more content just like this. Okay, so let me start off by saying that I saw this bike at the end of their Kickstarter. I was checking it out, wasn't sure if I wanted to take the plunge on it. Sat on it a little too long and lost and I didn't, wasn't able to jump in at that Kickstarter price. And man, I just thought that was a really sweet looking bike. Uh, I've been looking into getting an electric bike for a while, but you know, the price point was just a little high for a lot of them, especially because they were, most of them were just regular bicycles with battery packs strapped onto them and maybe uh, in a hub mode motor so there wasn't really really anything unique about the particular bike now this thing is pretty dope uh, super 73 has i believe a thousand watt motor 500 watt nominal hub rear hub motor um, the battery is a uh, 48 volt and let's see how many watt hours it's got 696 watt hours now this thing really runs out of juice for me i can ride it most of the day um, throttle only and have plenty of juice to cruise around the next morning. I usually only have to recharge it every other day with heavy usage. If it's, if I'm not using it a lot, uh, you know, just a little bit here and there every day, I can go uh, three or four days without charging it. Now, one thing I got to say is that the styling on this bike is just on point. This old like taco frame. What this reminds me of is the bike that someone would bring to a barbecue. It was the old little tiny little bike with a little motor inside and they just like big old fat tires and you just kind of run it around like at the barbecue just have a lot of fun that's what i remember uh, as a kid and when i saw this that's that's what it took me back to and i just i had to own one this is a, i just had to pick one up if you come here you're probably wondering is it worth it is it worth the price because these are a little bit on the high end uh, i believe this is 2200 on the website um they have a z that um the initial price was $9.99, but I think it's probably, if you're watching this video, I believe it's like, you know, 1400 bucks right now. But they're, they're all worth the price. Let me just tell you that. It's worth the money. It's worth the price. There's a lot of fun factor here. There's a lot of smile factor here. You're cruising down the road, man, you are just got a big old smile on your face. That brings me to another point. If you are going to pick one of these up, be prepared to be politely hassled, is what I like to call it. So everywhere I go, someone is always talking to me about this bike, asking me where I got it, what it is. Um, is it, you know, they're always asking, is that an electric bike? If you're looking to not draw a lot of attention to yourself, this is probably not the bike for you because it will draw a lot of attention and positive attention. People just seem to love this bike. I give a lot of test rides. Uh, it's just a really, really fun bike. It's also been just a really great toy. I mean, I hate to, I hate to tell you, it's a really, really fun. Every excuse I get, I, I try to get on the bike and go somewhere. So. You know, if I really need something from the store, hey, I'll get that. Let me go get my bike. Well, I'll just ride down the street and pick that up for you. Now, this is, keep in mind, this is coming from a guy who has not ridden a bike in, since I was a kid, really. Uh, I'm not a bike guy. I don't, I don't go out riding bikes on the weekend. I, I'm not started riding bikes till I picked this up. Um, that being said, from what I remember, this is not your normal bike. This is super, super fun. Going 20 miles an hour effortlessly down the road it's just it's I, it's you can't really explain it the feelings the sensations so much different than riding a normal bicycle uh, you just have to experience it for yourself i'm just going to go over the pros and the cons of this bike just to give you an idea of what i feel are the best and worst parts of it and to help you make a better buying decision so first of all the pros battery life battery life is phenomenal you're not going to be left wanting on that number two Power. This thing has plenty of power. I'm not the lightest guy in the world, and it 
really, really is able to propel me down the road effortlessly. The next thing I really like about it is the pedal assist. I know that not all the models have it, but this particular model does. This is the S1, and I really, really like that pedal assist. It is so much fun to, <laughs> to pedal and uh, just feel that power just kicking that rear that rear motor and just man it just pushes you and you're just you're effortlessly pedaling and this thing is just taking off 20 miles an hour it's just, it's a really neat sensation it's awesome another thing i like about it is it has a little rack on the back again this is something um i believe the s1 has i'm not sure if the original has it or not but i know the z does not have it but the s1 does have this little rack on the back and it's great for storage carrying things that you pick up i'm probably working on with someone getting some saddlebags made for it uh, this is Texas, so you do need saddlebags in Texas. I think it's a requirement. The brakes are also very nice on the bike. They're all disc brakes, front and rear. Um, as you can see here, the little, uh, where is it? little reservoir right here. There. Yeah, I mean, the brakes are great. I had to use them a couple of times uh, really, really hard. Um, and they stopped me. They stopped me, and uh, I'm glad I had them. At first, I didn't think I was going to be a big fan of it, but I really think I'm liking the smaller seat first. Uh, Super 7 Ruthie was very kind to send me the extended seat and I wore that, I had that on there for a while. Um, I'm a shorter guy, so it was a little bit too long for me. Uh, I just, I didn't, I kept sliding back and forth and then it was just it was pulling me too far away from the pedals. And for me, it just, it wasn't working. But I think if you were a taller person, I would say um, maybe five, 10 or, or more, that extended seat would just be perfect. It would be something you do want to pick up if you are a taller person. Okay, now to, into a couple of, negatives on the bike that um to be honest with you it was very very hard to come up with something negative about this bike because i really do love it um but the light i'm not a big fan of this light it's bright don't get me wrong it's very bright and i know some people have had the original um batch of these guys some people have problems with the bracket braking but my problem is that this sucker just look at that he just kind of goes it on a nice bump it just ends up pointing straight down and uh, that's something I would just like to see um, fixed in maybe a later build. Uh, I'm, it's so it kind of renders the light a little bit useless for me. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's something else I need to do. But riding down the road within a few minutes, that light's just pointing straight down like that. So, you know, other than that, um, I really can't say too much negative about this bike. To be honest with you, that's probably my own only like my only nitpick of the bike is that the light sags a little bit. So if you are planning to pick one of these bikes up, I do recommend filling the tires with slime. Um, I had recommended to me on a couple of forums I was on to fill these suckers with slime and I'll tell you what, it saved my butt already. Um, I told you I had to brake really hard before. There was a lady who ran a stop sign and had to really get on those brakes. And um, that slime kicked in and it, it, I guess there was a pinch on the tire because of that, in the, on the tube because of that, me braking so hard. And that slime kicked in and filled it. And I didn't realize that the, the, the slime had kicked in and, and filled that tear until maybe a day or two later. I'm still riding the bike. I noticed a little bit of leakage of, uh, of slime coming out of the, the, uh, the tire here. And uh, you know, I went in there and I saw that the tire had gone flat. And uh, I needed to you know, replace the tube. But um, the slime kept me on the road. It did its job. It, it kept me on the road uh, when I needed it to. And for that, I gotta give it mad props. So I really recommend filling your tubes with slime when you get them. All right, so I'm wrapping up this video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>